Then I'm hitting the recording button. Recorded makes a great video. You, you mean the reaction? So I basically just need to stream then. So, so listen here, because when I click recording, it only records the game. It doesn't record my camera. So what you mean is that I should just download the stream and cut that afterwards, is that it? So that my, the, the, the stream is, the reaction, everything is there. Okay, well, hopefully it's not too laggy, as in stuttering. That's not something anyone wants to see, right? Hopefully. Oh, God, hopefully we can, um, hopefully it's okay. Because, think it, okay. You guys ready? You, you guys ready? Okay, well, here we go. Enter. Okay. She Your seems... Grace. Your guest has arrived. Serious. Pray, come in and take your ease. Okay, will do. Party seems to be going well. It is well that the steps of faith held against the horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. It wasn't... I mean, okay. Such noble words. After the fact. Yeah. He's right. I had hoped to speak in the presence of her grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. For what? Honored friends, pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. Tis upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. I mean, those are good news. Right? That's what we wanted. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I take it. Ooh. Ida. What's the matter? Very well. Something is a a foot. Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. Minfilia is also like, hmm. What is happening? You wished a word, Yu Yu Hase? What is happening? Something with the, with the guy from earlier, right? With the where we found the vial? You may go. Wait, she talked to us? Oh no, no. Okay.
She has these eyes all of a sudden. I... You must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, will soon make apparent the need for discretion. Okay, my lady. You, you're creeping me out. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. So I was right? But I will see them suffer no longer. The victory feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. But wait, I don't get it. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. I mean, it's that's that's something good, right? I mean, the the, the intent. Hi, Paul. Yet that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. Much of my dread for the coming days has been quieted. What is she doing? Is she... Is there, is there poison in there? Why did she? This is where the vial was from. I have goosebumps. Why did she do that? Why does she have to die in order for it to? I don't get it. Do something there. Oh my god. I don't know. Oh, your grace. You've, you've. Her grace, the Sultana, is dead. Poison in her wine? Will they blame me? You! You did this! You fucker! Spare us your denials! I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. I don't understand why she would work with... She knew he would... I hereby accuse you of a regicide. Men, arrest this viper. She knew he would find her, didn't she? Oh. Sir, 
Barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. But the blue guy clearly was in communication with someone and her assistant probably also knew because I assume it was the assistant who poured it in or something and the, ass the, the assistants came in with them. So if it wasn't her knowing anything then it was her assistants. No. No. What's happening here? And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Oh my god. You, you, Hase, you? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. Bollocks. I call bullshit. Yes, Paul. Yes. Will they take... Oh my god, will they take prisoners, all of us? Or will we maybe flee and escape to Ishgard? She had a piece of bread and it looked quite yummy. What is the meaning of this? Knights from the homeland. This cannot bode well. Lord Commander. We have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I I wouldn't believe anything coming out of his mouth though, right? I mean... I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. A surprise attack. Don't believe it. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Most fortuitous, indeed. She's... she's mad. Commander, we must away! You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. Come, Lucia. But they know that it's fake, right? They're just going? <clears throat> I mean, I can't. Why did she do that? How was how was doing that helping the situation? I Oh, is he flirting? Whatever is going on in there? Oh my god. Ah, the ever dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. Another time, perhaps. How do you know, though? Like, look, for me, as someone who never saw it before, for me, it looked like she knew. Because when she took the drink and all her eyes were like, she knew. For me, it looks like she knew. If she didn't, then it was all on her assistant, which means... Ugh. Thancred, of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. I fucking hate it. I hate her assistant. Why did... I still don't understand why... Even if she didn't know, why was it necessary? Who would do that? It was Talanji, Telegi, little fuckwit, wasn't it? Espionage? What in the seven hells are you talking about? Ah, 
If you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand. I, I wasn't myself. She's working with them, the assistant, for sure. Under interrogation, an Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. Space Pandies, I'm sorry. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm not sure you hear this day, but thank you for stopping by. This is like... You best come along with us. They're getting violent now. You invite me to your party and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. <laughs> He's funny. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. Surely it was the assistant with Telegy, Antilagi or whatever his name is. They don't want the common folk to take over, I guess. Forbidden arts, yeah. Which ones? You go too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? Exactly, you tell him. You treat the frost blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> As you lecture me on personal armies! As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. Oh no, they're realizing. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curfus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? Oh no. <gasps> you mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in Her Grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. No! No, this cannot be! Please, Manfilia, you know me. You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. Bullshit. What? in the prisoner yeah here i come right he is he and her the assistants he planned this all along and why is he working with our crystal this guy i knew there's something fishy with him of poisoning her royal majesty nanamo ulnamo and his suspected accessories to the crime all members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. Look, and there is the guy. There is the guy from uh, where we found the vial. You little shithead. I can't. I should... You this fishy... Fish sack, I don't know. What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> How very convenient. You would speak of convenience. She knows. She's like, oh, mm-hmm. Who persuaded her grace to host this celebration? 
A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime, and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you, after all we have done for Uldar! Hold your tongue, witch! I'll not be ensorcelled! I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. I hate him so much right now. Oh yes, I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I want to just rip his moustache off his face. Rip it, not shave it. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands! I can't believe this. Now that is truly ridiculous! How do you even think of this stuff? She... she cannot be dead. Remember, she was hugging him recently. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. A stupid handmaiden. Gladiator. And what about me? I should sit there. The royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe, and so it falls to the monetarists of the syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. Burden. Ooh, he looks angry. Oh, you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean, you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. His face is just... She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. What the fuck is wrong with him? You would mock her. Then mock her from hell! Did he really? I mean, he's... have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them. You've been in league with the Scions all along. <sighs> where that? Where, where was Dorito all this time? I... You. Next to scheming bastard. Oh. oh, 
Ravon! Seven hells! You... No, you can't just leave. How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Is fucking Dorito going to be the next leader or what? Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. It is better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. Money rules the word great you are not the man you once were Robon. since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck you've become docile she took the mad bull and cut off his balls and a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter okay you... you so weird? How mean of you? Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? Oh my god, are you kidding me? He uh, just admits that it wasn't really us? It was me. You bastard, you fucking. I need a, I need, a, where's the next chair? I need to high five his, high five his face, I, look at it. You son of a. Kill him. You, you die. You need to be quicker! Oh my god, please! Oh no, if you only see rage, you won't make it! This little... I'm so angry. I never doubted you, not for a moment. But there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. No, what happens to I you? Who's behind this plot? It is the only way. Now go. I mean, clearly it was Teleji Adelaji or whatever. Or do you think there's a bigger person still behind? I hate this Ilbert. I, I hate him so much. fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. But when I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. It would appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. 
It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? <laughs> Look, Ida is cool. Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We two were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe has thought to have the Rising Stones watched. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papashan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. We're going to Nanamo's chambers? Uh oh. Okay, we better hurry. He's going to pummel them. The rest of you go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. By yourself? Oh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida, Papalimo! Oh, you didn't have to do this. We will hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now. Find this tunnel of Thancrets. Well, if you're going to Nanamo's chambers, can we maybe, like, I don't know, grab her on the way out so that she, we can give her a proper barrier or... Minfilia, come on! She saw their smiles. What? L what the? Is this Dorito? Look at her, that, look at the handmaid. Was it Dorito and the handmaid that planned that stuff? But is there someone else behind them even? Ah, now look what you've done. Her visor! Oh my god, did we see her without it finally? <laughs> Ida, are you alright? There are just too many of them. I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. Oh no, he's near the end. This isn't good. This it's is some... so stupid. We're the scions of the seventh dawn. The ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're sorely mistaken. Oh 
Oh no. Ooh, side boob. Uh, Sorry, I dragged you into this pop limo. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. Ooh. Did he empower her? She's so cool, man. They, they're so cool together. I was hoping you'd say that. What the? What is her class again? Holy. Monk. Wow. This was cool. And he, what is Papa Limo? I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. Yeah. The architecture is of the Sildene style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. Oh, interesting, you guys. Okay. This way. Oh, no. They found us? Well, that didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I had hoped. You two, go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. It's always in pairs. Wha what do you mean to do? Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. My friends. Leave us. Okay, okay, we're going. I'm sorry. I can't handle it. It's... <sighs> I can make the astrologer. So now it's only me and Minfilia left. What no. is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? <laughs> they're kind of they're so sarcastic together what is she I mean he fights cool forbidden arts Going splendidly. Now would be a good time, milady. Oh, conjure an astral. Ooh. Tis done. What is done? Oh wow. Genki Dama? <laughs> Dying? Oh, 
Neb. <laughs> okay. The light left us though. Where did where did the, no. the lamp? I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me. No, you are a minor. You you can't do anything. I'm not letting you alone. Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the scions and for all the realms. No, as shut up. I don't want to hear it. Continues to burn. The light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. No. What is she supposed to do? I mean, Hadelin talked to her, but what what did what Damn it, I wish What did she say? Not a fan, not a fan of how everything turns out right now. There I am, running, alone. No one is with me, no one is coming. Wait. Have you not? Alize? Who is it? I am glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? Well, oh man, the others. <sighs> what class is Ishtola? Reckless. <laughs> he didn't make it. Damn that man! Taleji played me for a fool. I thought the crystal braves mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. And who's this little falafel? There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. Who is this? Hey, they they managed to get a carriage? Good. Very good. Would you look who it is? Need a ride? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's anyway. where we came from at the beginning. Let's not dawdle, eh? Oh. Oh, all abroad. Aboard. Sorry, I clicked that away. Okay, let's um They're coming, let's go. Don't waste another minute. But look Emmerich Sir Emmerich and his whatever her name was again They knew And still they left us. Or maybe they're waiting for us somewhere? I don't even I mean they felt that something's not going like not right. It's very short Highlander because he's too good to be a Lala. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, they couldn't do much, but maybe they can wait for us somewhere. Or maybe, do you think they would know that we're coming to Ishgard and they would at least embrace us there? I don't know. I was stocking up on supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see. When your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Ulda and likely needed a helping hand getting away. Uh huh. Thinking them ruins would make a fine hiding place, I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were. Aye, and judging by them soldiers as were pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Well, you know. Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize, but what appears she was the one watching over me. 
I've made such a mess of things. It's true. Will we get to do more with Alize? I wonder as well, because we've done a few things with her, but compared to Alfino, barely. And who might you be, young sir? Yes, yes, who are you? What's your name? Pippin Talpin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. Pippin? I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Ulda. The voice is... the voice doesn't fit the, the look though. That, is it just me? Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles though when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. True, Destrolisher. The name plainly lies with the monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity. This whole situation has turned really bad for us very quickly. Was that Pippin you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Oh? Rauvan's son? He didn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for him there. Hi, Gambit, by the way. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation. But in the end... Was I who needed saving? Well, I mean, after such a quick turn of events, I guess it's normal to feel bad, isn't it? Oh, it's it's me who needs to read. Some soldiers keep searching for why yet reckon. We'll take the carriage back towards Ulda and get the lay of the land. Maybe provide distraction if need be. You three wait here. I'll be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. The real fight is to come. Oh, great. All right, let's go. Oh, no. My boy, sorry to keep you waiting. What? Sid, you're here? Your merchant friend told me everything? Truly, there is no merchant but an angel in peddler's clothing. But tell us, how do you intend to bear our friends to safety? I hit the Enterprise, but a short distance away. All I need is a destination. We must find a place beyond the reach of both the monasteries and the Crystal Braves. Curse us, Ishgard will not suffer the intrusion of foreign forces in their territory. That settles it. See, they're going to that... I knew it. Why does he remain here? Oh, no. Okay. All right, well... I, too, do not know what to say. Airship awaits. Well, we can make our way there um, with Sid and hopefully, I'm pretty sure we'll see Pippin again in the future at some point, right? Hopefully. So, there is that. Um, two, three quest cuts, quest cutscenes left. Up. There's no rest for the righteous. I want to look like, Sid looks really cool, I think. Okay, we're moving. But isn't it snowing? It will be a bumpy ride if we go to the direction of Ishgard, isn't it? Look at it. It, you know, look at him. But will people not know that he helped us? Uni, it is! Did you have nice lunch? What did you eat? No, I didn't cry. I was angry. I was really angry. 
He thinks my German coming out of me. I'm kidding. Bad joke, buddy. <laughs> At first, I thought she did it herself, until I came to the conclusion that it was her assistant. I just don't... I'm... I'm stupid, but... Honestly. Not a single tear. I just don't cry easily, but let me... I'm infuriated. Is that the word? Bela's got tissues? There's been word from the capital. Ishgard has weathered another assault. And tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. The Temple Knights succeeded in slaying the beasts, but the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard and to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the Gates of Judgment. Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. But do not despair. You are not without allies. You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray, think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. The falling snows or some such. <laughs> he's so f he's kind of cute. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Fortong. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Oh, they have that reputation? Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed and their every request for entry rebuffed until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. He's too kind to us. Have you noticed depressed? You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. Pray, join the rest of your companions. He makes me want to play an it's elfin a bit guy. Cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. Oh god, Tataru! She's here. Oh no, look, the eyes. No, she's so cute. <clears throat> I can't. I tried to contact Manfilia and the others, but no one would respond. And then Crystal Base, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. Flamin told me to run and so I did. I ran and I ran until my legs burned and my feet ached, but I lost my way and then... Fortunately, I had observed some of the braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. Ooh, we see her without mask. Ah, yes, my mask. It was lost in the struggle. Pretty, isn't she? Anyway, after Yugiri found me, we traveled to Vesper Bay and met up with Uriyanga. When we told him what had happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the waking sands. From the outside, our old headquarters now look like an abandoned storehouse. Good. The transformation didn't take long either, apparently. Uriyanga started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Empire ever chose to pay us another visit. Good thinking, huh? Yeah. Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes. We waited um, there at the Waking Sands, hoping others would come. But no one else did. My people are searching for the other science, even as we speak. But we have m met with no success, success as yet. I had hoped you might be able to suggest further places to look. Ah, but you should know, the Rising Stones did not share the Waking Sands' good fortune. Only Crystal Braves await you there. Be that as it may, we have yet we yet have cause to hope, don't we do we not? If the two of you escaped, it is not impossible that the others could have done couldn't have done so as well. You may have been forsaken by man and woman believe too, 
but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay your debts and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and the science and see the science restored to the right, rightful place of honor. Yugiri! You cute! Tis all my doing. Isn't she a highly modified cat girl? Really? I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. And look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, And find homes for every refugee? Yeah. Oh, yes. I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored. And sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. It was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. Oh, Alfino. She looks so cute too. Really, cat nerd? I mean, I like that. <laughs> Yeah, but does he say that to any? So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? That's a nice sentence. What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? Yeah, where? The little, the little shoes. Alfino, if I may. Should this place not serve our purpose, then, then we shall go to Ishgard. Minfilia told me many times, as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. Be it in the snow or in the clouds. We few will see that the dawn's light shines again. The voice. Oh. You are right, Totoro. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. I... I would like a hot chocolate too, that's nice. You really think he's a bit less depressed now? Also, I'm sad that Lord Horschfund isn't as vigorously flirting with us as you say he does in the Japanese version. I mean, I would welcome it. <laughs> Why is it only... It's done? <sighs> so it ends with uh, Alfino telling us that basically we can't give up hope, essentially, is what I'm getting here. And that it's the three of us we we'll try to make our way forward. Wow. I'm pretty um, angry still inside, but... Um, you know. Yes, Bayless, and um, it was a very sad moment. But I, I interpreted this, the, scene, the scene very wrong. And instead of being sad, I was angry. So... 
I didn't, <laughs> I didn't need the tissues. I was just angry until I realized that what I thought happened didn't actually happen. And then I do feel kind of sadness about it all now, but the anger has already got me that, at that point, And so it was too late for me. Sorry, guys. Very sorry. But I honestly thought she knew. And that totally changed everything. And yeah, it's my fault. Oh, here we go. All has been arranged as you desired, my lord. Stupid Dorito. I knew it. I told you it was him and the assistant. Handmade. But why? Are they alive? Who's in there? Roban, is that you? Oh, he angry. Oh, he angry. Oh my god, no, what do you want now? Nabrialis is no more, yeah? The Arda was not his to invoke. His demise was of his own making. Nevertheless, it concerns me. They have extinguished that which would, which should rightly be eternal. Yes, because we found the way, remember? Mayhap it, he was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. We are of one mind. The northern lands, then? The earth, is fer the earth is fertile and the seeds well sown. By my will they shall reap salvation unlike any the world has known. By his will. By his will. Who... See, this whole organization 13, I'm just calling them that way, still confuses me. Who exactly are they serving? I have answered thy summons. Speak and make thy intent known. What the fuck is he doing here? I would speak of fate, Archon. Yours, mine, the fate of this very star. I am... Um... Pitchex, hi! I... I'm hot all of a sudden. Are you hot? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my, here we go. Thou thinkest sanctuary lieth beyond. Delusion. Despair. Death, thou shalt find naught else here. You are very confusing, but still cute in this form, nonetheless. Midi, Midji. To preserve the dawn's light, the heroes journeyed north. Their hearts filled with hope and eyes fixed heavensward. 
Wait, wait, should I not have accepted this quest? Is that what you're saying? So long as we have these specious accusations hanging over us, we will struggle to achieve anything. You must go to Ishgard, as Tataru proposed. I will return to Uldar and set things right. He's going to Uldar? Is he crazy? Yeah, you're right, new voice. Do not be so hasty, Master Elfino. Lord Orshafon. Wait, I need to hear him talk more. Full well do I understand your desire to clear your names. But now is not the time for drastic action. You yet have allies upon whom you can rely. There is no need to act alone. Yes. Yes, of course. Pray forgive my impatience. Yeah, sounds good. I bring tidings. Count Edmont has decreed that the three of you be taken in as wards of House Fortan. Under our patronage, you shall be granted access to the city proper. What's the city proper? Pray. Consider our manor your new headquarters, Ooh. from which you may gather information and plan how best to proceed. Needless to say, should any of your missing allies be found, as I am certain they shall, they will of course be welcome to join you there. Oh my god, I really hope we can find some. You are more than generous, my friend. On behalf of my fellows, I humbly accept your offer of hospitality. The Count is a good man and just. He will treat you with the kindness and respect that a hero and dear friend deserves. To Ishgard then, together. Do I just have to log out? There we shall carry on the Scion's legacy. There, we shall begin anew. Heal here! I like that we're trying to continue what we had originally wanted to do, like, make it a better place. Um, Ceres, I think they were already here Wednesday. Okay, log out to the title screen. Okay.